Officials are now saying that an online security breach is what led to an emergency early dismissal for Wilkinson County Schools. On Friday, students were sent home from school an hour early because of the potential threat. 41 NBC's Jasmine Williams has the latest on this investigation and what administrators are doing to stop it. Monday in Wilkinson County appears to be business as usual. I feel like that the school is very safe. Um, my kids are at school today. A very different scene from Friday when Wilkinson County students were sent home early because of a potential threat. I was scared because I didn't know what was going on and I didn't know if it was true or not. According to authorities, a Wilkinson County student gained access to an information system known as Power Teachers. The teachers' usernames and passwords were posted online, allowing anyone access to grades, home information, and social security numbers. A parent received an unusual phone call, and shortly after, police were notified. You want to err on the side of caution for the protection of your kids. But just as investigators started to get the ball rolling, the school was contacted again. The email was sent because of the information that, that was posted on this particular website. But this time, there was a threatening tone. There wasn't any specific information as to what building had a bomb, who had a bomb. It was some um, racial uh, connotations in the email. They alluded to African American students, in a sense, and um, their removal from the school. Friday afternoon, Superintendent Dr. Jeter made the cautious call to send students home. At the time, I didn't have anything specific. When parents heard there was a potential threat at the schools, the caution turned to chaos. And the chaotic part comes from people saying, because they don't know what's going on. The one thing Jeter said he tried to avoid. One thing I didn't want to do was create a panic with parents by putting misinformation out there. Other than a slightly dramatic start to the weekend, class is back in session, this time with a few slight changes. We've increased our patrols in terms of changing passwords, things of that nature, so that it won't occur again. And we'll probably do that on a periodic basis to even make it that much more secure. Do you think that you should have changed? That was Jasmine Williams reporting. Sheriff Chapman says the investigation is ongoing and the school system's IT department is keeping a close eye on all of the school sites. Superintendent Aaron Jeter says parents will be updated and notified this afternoon.